The River Glaven in North Norfolk is a spring-fed chalk stream, rich in history, heritage and wildlife. Though short in length, just 10 miles, the River Glaven boasts eight sites of special scientific interest. The Glaven is also home to the mysterious European eel, often found lurking in the reeds or in dark holes in the water. Much about this fish is still unknown. For centuries, scientists have pondered over its intricate life cycle and extensive migration, but only recently, with the declining population, has it become an intensively studied animal. European eels start life in the Sargasso Sea in the Western Atlantic Ocean. The tiny eel larvae drift on ocean currents to Europe, a journey of approximately two years. They then spend between seven and twenty years in estuaries, rivers and marshes, even travelling over dry land to find a murky inland pond. In the autumn, when the females are fat and ready to lay their eggs, they begin their journey back to the Sargasso Sea to mate. It was always rumoured that dark autumnal nights were the best time for catching those large silver eels. Historically, eels were prolific in the River Glaven, which offers the perfect habitat for them and their prey. Older fishermen you meet in the area all have tales to tell about the slippery eel. But these days, fishermen rarely see them. During the last 30 years, numbers have declined by 95%. However, this beautiful landscape supports a rich diversity of wildlife, where eels play an important part of the food chain, and much work is underway to improve the habitat for eels and all other fish in North Norfolk. This is the purpose of the Glaven Eel Project. My name's Ursula and I work for Norfolk Rivers Trust on the HLF Eel Project. We've been digging new ponds, clearing up forgotten ditches and recreating historical backwaters to improve habitat, not only for the European eel, but also for fish and invertebrates that eels eat. We've installed a number of eel passes on barriers such as mills and weirs to enable eels to migrate upstream often improving their chances of survival. We're working closely with UCL and ZSL to tag and monitor eels in the Glaven catchment. We use the data to get a better understanding of the age profile as well as their daily foraging habits which helps us pinpoint conservation priorities. All over Europe there are similar projects happening to help this critically endangered fish and it's been a pleasure to work with organisations such as the Sustainable Eel Group and Zoological Society of London to protect this IUCN red list species. Eels were once numerous in almost every pond, ditch and stream. In 1704, Abraham de la Prime, the Vicar of Thorn on the River Went, described their abundance. Commonly every May such vast numbers of young eels come over the water wheels and run into the mills that they are forced to give over working and to send into town for the swine to come and devour them for they are as innumerable as sand grains on the seashore. Sadly, no longer. Norfolk Rivers Trust count glass eels using eel passes fitted with modified elver traps, which are checked and counted daily. But in 2016, the trap at Glanford Mill recorded less than a dozen glass eels passing through. Another method of surveying the fish population in the Glaven is electro-fishing. It gently stuns the fish so they can be netted and measured. But they quickly make a full recovery and are released where they were caught.
As part of the Glaven Eel Project, the River Glaven Conservation Group and Norfolk Rivers Trust have been working with landowners to enhance the aquatic habitat by dropping woody debris into the water, which slows the flow and provides perfect eel and fish habitat, which is particularly welcomed by the brown trout and its predators. In the past, spring was the season when one could see thousands of young eels coming into the Glaven. However, our rivers are riddled with barriers such as sluice gates and weirs. Not many make it over these obstacles, which are thought to be a contributing factor to the decline in the European eel. A major part of the Glaven Eel Project has been to educate and engage young people with their local river. Six local schools have temporarily kept eels in tanks in their classrooms to learn about these fascinating fish, which were then released back into the river. Despite the worrying decline in eel numbers, there are huge international efforts to research the reasons for their decline and to promote the best practice in river restoration. And at a local level, the Glaven Eel Project has managed to engage young people with their river and its eels to ensure the future conservation and respect for this fast declining species. <laughs> <laughs>